I spent Monday on Strawberry Hill Till I fell and I landed on your windowsill I hung there by a golden fine web I had woven from a hair of your head I spent Tuesday just walking through town Till I saw a gold angel come tumbling down And waltzing with seagulls up in an elm tree Where the wind runs her fingers above the dark lee And oh, will you meet me on Saturday night We'll dance in the shadows between the street lights Between these two rivers I know where we'll meet on Princess Street great man for following his nose was my granda. On my mother's soul, he could find his way to work blindfolded. All the way from his front doorstep up on Dublin Hill, down into the belly of the city, just, just following his nose. The first thing that hit my granda and he leaving the house, it'd be the thick country smell of cattle from the dealer's fields beyond the grotto on Blackpool. Led on like a, like a bull by the ring, he'd close his eyes and follow his nose, past the stale stench of last night's doubt and cigarette smoke from the string of pubs along Dublin Street, past the Glen Hall, full length of Thomas Davis Street. And with the first hint of crusty bread coming from the ovens of Cuppert's Bakery over on Great Room O'Brien Street, he'd know he was at Blackpool Church. Then that sweet smell of molten sugar, the Shawleys making toffee apples up on Gerald Griffin Street would carry him past the oak casks of the distillery and onto the watercourse road. Ah, pleasure. A pleasure cut short by the piercing, deathly, toxic, foul cloud coming from the slaughterhouse off Denny's Lane. But then, just for a whiff of a second, the subtle scent of sherbet drifting down from Linehan's sweet factory would carry him past the putrid pelts of the tannery and onto the first taste of human waste at Paul Reddy. Turning right onto Leitham Street, there'd be no mistaking the warmth of the moist malt of brewing stout billowing from Murphy's stack. He knew he was on the right track, so he'd put the hands into the pockets and whistle, spurred on by the aromatic blending of Moore's vegetables, Griffin's shoemakers, Noreen's apple tarts, must be Friday because there's kippers and credens, O'Connell's butchered beef, or Sullivan's cured bacon. At Falvey's corner, he'd stop. Stop dead. Struck by a tidal wave of fishy smells from the Baltimore stores, enough to knock a horse. And for the first time in his skull, my granddad opened his eyes, looked back at the eastern face of Shandon, where half past seven means 25 to eight. Turning right onto Bridge Street, the fine wines and the exotic spice of Madden's would carry him across Patrick's Bridge, through the gateway of the city, all the way to work just, just by following his nose. And oh, will you meet me on Saturday night? We'll dance in the shadows between the street lights, between these two rivers. I know where we'll meet on Princess. Street. <laughs> Colin Friedman.